lots of people always talking about how real a movie is or how real the character is. I don't think that these people know what they're talking about all the time. Hello everybody, my name is Rooster, I'm a movie and television show talking guys. Today we're talking about this movie, please watching the clips. For 16 years I kept this secret from my wife, my sons. How I was able to do that and maintain any degree of sanity. That worries me when I think about it. But it's my destiny to be the king of pain. This is HBO movie and it is starting Robert De Niro and it is about the Bernie Madoff story. Now, I find it very interesting that they are doing this movie now because it's a long time since the Bernie Madoff situation happened in 2008-2009 and a lot of people still do not have good feelings about the financial crisis and how the government and the financial industry took care of these situations. But this type of story also brings up a certain point. As I'm watching this, this movie, television show, this movie from HBO, it appears to me that I'm not sure who, why this movie is being made. Now, everybody knows that Bernie Madoff is a bad guy. He took billions of dollars from people to make Ponzi schemes. But this movie is a good example of what when people are talking about what's real and what's not when people talk about movies in many cases they talk about the realism in the movie oh that was authentic and that or this scene was authentic or this character was believable and i think that in many cases i think that people are using truth to describe movies when that is not the proper word because truth is something that is clearly verifiable, that you can prove to be true, whereas movies are not about truth, they are about telling the story in the most compelling way. This is why that when you see something like based on a true story, like these Bernie Madoff stories, they do not necessarily stick to exactly what happened. Now, it is reasonable to assume that everybody in Madoff family know that they were they were making these scams and with some of the scenes where you see the people that are do actually doing the crime and Murdoch's family are mingling and talking together so they know each other but they don't know what they were doing for 15 or 20 years it seems highly unlikely so I think that this movie is not getting best ratings because I think people are having an emotional response to watching Bernie Madoff and hearing about that he was trying to protect his family when in reality I don't think that his family is as stupid as they were portrayed in this. But overall I think that it's a fantastic movie. It is a movie that is both about the American dream and what people will do to get to the American dream and in many cases this tragedy that unfolds because when people want something so bad maybe they do not follow the rules even though they they believe that they are doing the right thing at the time please thank you for watching upvoting and subscribe uh, there are some many fantastic things happening to me now so I have not been uploading as much because there are things I need to take care of, but uh, that's good. It is good for me, it's good for VidMe, it's good for everybody. So hopefully you will stay around and watch more of my videos. Okay, bye-bye! <laughs>